All right, friends, I have a hint, okay? I'm gonna show you something and I need you to guess if A, you can figure out what instrument family this piece belongs to, and B, can you specifically name the instrument? Here's your clue. How about now? Yes, this is a trumpet, and today we're going to be talking about the brass family. Oops. So, the brass family all has what we call a mouthpiece. That is how we're going to create our sound. Our mouthpiece, we're going to play by buzzing into their lips, like this. What I'm doing with my tongue is I'm going every time. Notice I'm not going nice and tight. So what happens is I create this buzzing sound on my mouthpiece. I put my mouthpiece on my instrument. And what's going to happen here with the trumpet is, let's do it this way, is the air is going to travel all through this tubing, okay? We call this the tubing. And it's going to come out the bell. All brass instruments have a mouthpiece and a bell and tubing. Now, something about the trumpet is it has what we call these valves. Depending on which valves I press down, is going to depend on the sound that comes out of the instrument. Because in here, there's actually little holes. And so depending on what I press down um, is going to determine how the air is going to flow through and that's going to create a pitch. All right, so when I say the word pitch, remember, we can think of a scale. So I can play our do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Listen. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, much better. All right, so depending on which um, valves I press down, I can play a song. Take a listen. Did you know what song that was? Happy birthday. If any of you have a birthday today, you just got your own personal shout out. All right, let's do one more. Let's see if you can guess this song. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, awesome. So this trumpet is actually the small brass instrument in the brass family, so it's going to play really high notes, all right? Let's check out some other brass instruments. Hi, I'm Jeff Lang, and I'm the associate principal horn of the Philadelphia Orchestra. I play the French horn. I started playing the horn when I was about 10 years old, and one of the cool things that I really like about this instrument is that it's about 18 feet long if I stretch it all out, and I've also really loved the sound of the French horn. I'm going to play a little Mozart's first horn concerto for you. Hi everyone, my name is Nitsan Harpoz. I'm the principal trombonist with the Philadelphia Orchestra. I play the trombone. I started playing the trombone when I was nine years old, and I chose this instrument because I thought it was by far the coolest instrument in the orchestra. This trombone is about 27 years old, not too old. One unique thing about the trombone is that it is the only instrument in the brass family that can play an effect called glissando. This is what it sounds like. 
Nice, huh? I'll finish by playing a short tune that you might all recognize. If you don't, you will soon enough. Hope you liked it. See you at the orchestra. Bye bye. Hi everyone. My name is Carol Yansh. My title is Principal Tuba of the Philadelphia Orchestra, and this is the tuba. The tuba is the biggest and the bestest of all the brass instruments. In fact, there's only one tuba in every orchestra because they're so big and loud. The tuba can play notes that are pretty high, but it can play notes that are really, really low. My favorite part about playing the tuba is that the way that you make sound is literally by blowing raspberries. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed meeting the tuba. Bye everybody. Can you say bye?